confirming the innocence of Prophet TB Joshua and clearing him from the charge of drug dealing for which he was detained in a cell for 13 days. Remember, our enemies may rob us of our liberty and confine us in a prison cell, but they cannot shut us out of the throne of mercy and communion with God. Falsely accused of drug dealing by the NDLEA, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Prophet TB Joshua was arrested and held in a cell for 13 days. This is the first appearance of Prophet TB Joshua, having just been released from the cell. He addressed the congregation, thanking them for their faithfulness and love for standing by him in the hard times, referring to their unequal effort towards his absence. You can see the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, looking lean, having spent 13 days in the cell. Uh, yes. I will use this opportunity to thank you all for your unequal efforts towards my absence. So I'm here to thank you all. If you now stay this in your mind and why me about all this persecution, tribulation, us to I want you to now think back again. Why me about the spiritual things in my life? When you can't the best of God in life, doubting will fly away. Even if you are suffering acutely, you laugh of this, you laugh of that. But remember, the blessing of God, like food, shelter, and many other things that you enjoy with it. Having searched and found nothing against him, Prophet TB Joshua was released from the cell and the following Sunday appeared in the church service to thank the members and appreciate their love and support during his absence. Rather than to complain and query, why me of all this trouble and persecution? Prophet TB Joshua encouraged the congregation to remember the spiritual blessings that many are deprived of, such as food and shelter that they can hold the very word of God in their hands and read it, that they have the knowledge of his saving grace. The man of God encouraged them, saying that when you begin to count your blessings, your doubts will fly away. We must understand that our values must be tested against facts and experiences. Even in the darkness, light dawns for the upright. They are strong because they rely on God for their stronghold, refuge and vindication. In the university of God, no matter how brilliant you are, you will not be given double promotion. You will take every course, for each cause serves a purpose. The name-calling, intimidation, blackmail, slanderous remarks and campaigns of calumny served a purpose in the life of TB Joshua, but they can still serve a purpose in your life. We want to remind you, as the Holy Bible says in the book of Romans 14, verse 23, that anything that does not come from faith is sin. What are those things that do not come from faith? Anything you see on television, read in newspapers, what others tell you and what your circumstances look like without examining them in the light of God's word. Follow the testimony of your conscience. Be convinced in your own mind. Make sure of all things before holding fast to that which is true. Find out the truth and let the truth set you free. Beware. 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 Beware of blasphemers.